So you're gonna need four cans of jackfruit. Make sure you remove all the seeds from the jackfruit and then you can start squishing all of the syrup out of it. Make sure you rinse it for about five to seven minutes. I hate this part, but it's very crucial because you do not want sweet jackfruit. Now I have my grapeseed oil. I'm gonna put half a cup in there onto the cast iron skillet. And once it's hot, like right now, then I'm going to drop in all of my jackfruit. So I received this seasoning from the Creole Depot and it is amazing. So I put two and a half tablespoons of this seasoning onto my jackfruit and I mixed it in really well. So you will see in a few moments, I added more seasoning because it was so good. So it was a total amount of two and a, two and a half tablespoons of the Creole Depot seasoning. And here you can see me adding the seasoning, like I said before. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of onion powder, and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix that in really well. I also added approximately one teaspoon of salt, pink Himalayan to be exact, and salt is always to taste. So now I'm adding in one tablespoon of smoked paprika, not paprika, paprika, and now I'm just mixing it in really good. So I cook the jackfruit for about 15 minutes. Once it's brown, it's done. Don't let it burn, don't let it get crispy. You still want it to be tender. So I got 16 ounces of beautiful Bellas and I sliced them up like this. And after I sliced them, I had to get the onion because you know the Philly gotta have an onion. So I put one tablespoon of grapeseed oil onto a hot skillet and then I dumped the mushrooms onto the pan as well as the onion. I also added one teaspoon of Earth Balance Original Vegan Butter. And then I used the Creole Depot seasoning once again and I put about two teaspoons of that onto the mixture. I also added one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and once again, salt is always to taste. Once the onions are translucent, they are finished. So now I'm slicing open my Subway sandwich bread I got this bread from H-E-B, just make sure your bread is dairy free. And as I open it up, I'm going to get some melted butter and I'm going to spread that all over the bread. Once it's spread all over the bread, I'm gonna turn it over into a warm skillet and I'm going to let it toast the bread until it's a pretty golden brown color. So now it's time to dress up our vegan Philly cheese sandwich. So I'm putting my veganese all over the bread, spread as much as you like. And then after that, I'm going to start putting the jackfruit on top, put as much as you like. So 
So after you put the cheese on your sandwich, make sure you put it in the microwave until the cheese melts. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And there you have it. There is your vegan Philly cheese sandwich and it's so good.